everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll delve into a topic that raises numerous ethical and medical questions, examining patients in a vegetative state. The concept of the vegetative state is a mind-boggling aspect of neuroscience. It's like a puzzle where consciousness appears to flicker in an enigmatic realm. This is a complex and challenging aspect of healthcare that requires sensitivity and a thorough understanding. Before we begin, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. Picture this, the brain, the most intricate supercomputer known to humanity, encountering a disruption that alters its symphony of signals and responses. The vegetative state is a condition where an individual has limited consciousness, showing no signs of awareness of themselves or their environment. It's often a consequence of severe brain damage, such as trauma or oxygen deprivation. Despite being awake and displaying sleep-wake cycles, individuals in a vegetative state don't exhibit meaningful responses to stimuli. Understanding and examining patients in this state is crucial not just for diagnosis, but also for ethical decision-making regarding their care. It involves a comprehensive assessment that includes various medical tests and observations. Let's explore the examination process in detail. Medical professionals utilize a range of assessments to examine patients in a vegetative state. These assessments can involve physical examinations, neurological tests, brain imaging, such as CT scans or MRI, and electrophysiological studies like electroencephalograms. Let's break it down into six essential steps. Step 1. Initial Assessment and Patient History Understanding the patient's background and the history of their condition is our starting point. It's crucial to gather information about the cause, duration, and prior medical interventions related to their vegetative state. Step 2. Physical Examination A thorough physical assessment helps gauge the patient's overall health and neurological status. We check vital signs, muscle tone, reflexes, and cranial nerve functions meticulously. Step 3. Neurological Assessment This involves a detailed evaluation of the patient's neurological responses, focusing on motor responses, sensory assessments, and signs of awareness. Next, Brain Imaging and Diagnostic Tests Utilizing advanced imaging techniques such as CT scans, MRI, and EEG helps visualize brain structure and activity patterns, offering insights into potential abnormalities or signs of consciousness. Step 5. Stimulus Response Assessment We observe the patient's responses to different stimuli verbal commands, visual cues, tactile sensations, and auditory stimuli to gauge their level of consciousness. Last but not least, observation and monitoring. Continuous monitoring of vital signs and responsiveness is vital. Detailed records help track changes over time and inform ongoing assessments. Navigating ethical decisions surrounding the patient's care and quality of life is crucial. Respect for patient dignity and family values is paramount in decision-making. Examining patients in a vegetative state is a comprehensive process that requires meticulous assessment, ethical considerations, and collaboration among specialists. There you have it, a comprehensive guide to examining patients in a vegetative state. Remember, this process demands scientific expertise, ethical mindfulness, and ongoing evaluation for providing the best possible care. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this information valuable, please like and share this video. Your comments and feedback guide our content. Stay informed and compassionate.